you don't have practical skills for the workplace. Yeah. Which you learn, but you need to change. And how often do people want to give you a chance? Oh, we go for the um, the, 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 the best possible option. So that exactly. makes my life easier. Mm. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. Have you seen Simon? I haven't. I saw Simon at Christmas time. I saw him in the theatre. Yeah. Yeah, I see him probably, I probably see him two or three times a year. I have, I've seen, when do we see Helen? I saw Helen about a month ago. But yeah, just to, you know, chat and say hi and all that. Mm. See, I must be about last year. Was she uh, in college? No, she would be, I'd say she'd be, this is either on her fifth or sixth, so she's either in year oh, yes. 11 or 12 mm -hmm. yeah, this year. But she's still into hockey, she's into hockey, real big. Uh -huh. What about your girls? They're um, <coughs> 22 and 20. Um, Melissa's doing hospitality and bar work in Wellington. Lives in um, Island Bay. Has just got engaged, which is very exciting. Oh, nice. And um, Katie is um, in Otago doing um, psychology and music. She enjoying it? Mm, loving She's it. doing well too. Mm, yeah. yeah. So she's um, choosing her major more in music, and, well, or is more interested in that, is studying the, um, the voice and how it works biomechanically and stuff like that. So it is quite amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's stunning, yeah. And she's, both girls did barbershop all through college. I remember Muriel telling me. Yeah, so I think that's where the passion came from, and, yeah, and she still does it. So she does some weird stuff. She had a, a, um, a vocal physio come to their class and the physio offered to do physio work on the kids if they wanted to. And so as though you end up giving Katie a pony massage from the inside of her mouth. I don't know if it's really weird. Yeah, it is a bit weird. But, but, but Katie said, after, like the lady said, do your top range, your bottom range, and that's through some exercises, and then did the massage, and afterwards Katie had an extra five minutes or something. Which is kind of amazing. Which is incredible, and shows that it's a muscle that needs to be you know, looked after often. I would think that speaking would massage your tongue, but apparently not. Well, I think it's just the way you punch your shoulders and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. So what, tell yeah. me what she has improved it to go further down or further up. Both ways. She, because she was already very low. Hmm. I think it gave her more up range than down, but the point was her tongue was, and her, that system was tense and could not flex as well as it actually can, and the lady... So she Watch had it. the massage in her tongue. On her tongue, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, both doing really well. It's cool. Melissa was meant to go and do her OE last year, last year, 2020? Yes. 2019. No, 2020. 2020. Yeah, and um, COVID. Work, so. She was supposed to leave in Easter, and we were in lockdown. Yeah, a lot of kids it's have down. missed out. Yeah. And she was STA travel, which is kind of one step beyond that. Mm. So no income, which was a real shame. And yeah. it's a lot of money. Yeah, it was a big brand day. Three or four, something like that. Well, even Flight Centre. Yes. I mean, I think they've treated their staff appallingly. Mm. Flight Centre. I don't think I'll ever book with them ever again. Mm. I'll never use them again. They treated their staff appallingly. Uh, basically, their staff didn't even know what happening to them where you know and then they found out at the same time as everyone else yeah. that they've been made redundant they were finding more as much out from the media than any yeah anything internal it's yeah. pretty shit it's real bad it is real bad good mate of mine's wife was flight centre and had done it for 10 years of her life but, but um, she's now gone into insurance and actually has discovered that she really is working a job that's 8.30 till 5 and you go home and you don't have to do you know research at night or change bookings and things but in your own time so kind of sad isn't it like she loved her work booking people's holidays but it wasn't just a office job you did stuff at home and all these things yeah because you're always changing flights and if someone's got a problem yeah you, you have to fix it and you have to fix it to book through that's right so yeah yeah well we were going to go to um well, there's a group of us of five of us um usually six we went on a cruise a couple of years ago so um, we just put twenty dollars into a bank account every fortnight, mm. and that's our money. And this year we're going to go to Bali. Nice. But it's not going to happen. No. So we'll look for next year next or the year, year after. Yeah. So we're just going to go to Taupo next month for for four days.
guys. That'll be nice. Yeah. Just get it. You can still get up to the same list, you reckon? Exactly. <laughs> well, I met the cruise was really nice. Like, everyone's like, oh, did you get real drunk? And we're like, no. no. Where'd you go? <laughs> we just went to, we went to Sydney, flew out of Sydney. We yeah. flew, uh, we flew to Sydney. We went to uh, Isle of Pines, Mystery Island, Lefu, Numea. And there was a couple of others. I think yeah. it was five or six. Was it piano? Yes. It was a, a bit of piano with Georgie um, about four years ago, and we did sing all but we left Auckland. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't leave Auckland. I said the worst part of um, the, the the sailing was coming out of Auckland. The weather can be also quite terrible coming out. Yeah, did you feel like you were flying on the whole weather expecting for another 24 hours until you got closer to... Length and yeah, and yeah. so we went. Um, there was one time on the boat that it was really quite rough, but it wasn't, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we really enjoyed it. It's a nice way to hold out away. It's it's very um, stress free because you don't have to deal with anything. Like we went out for dinner, so there was six of us that went, and the deal was we do whatever we want during the day, but we always meet up for dinner. Yep. So that's, that's what we did. So we went off, um, so there's about three of us. We got up in the morning, we did a couple of spin classes and went to the gym there. Mm. And then we, like, they had quizzes and they had all sorts of things and they had parties and like, they had um, back to school nights. So we all dressed up the same. We all had the same costume. Mm. You know, we all dressed up as school girls and, you know. Mm. And then they had a, as a 30s theme, so we all dressed up in flappers. Then we had a black and white theme. And then I think another night they had... Um, just an evening wear, Cedric, you know, yeah. you had a couple of drinks, and like literally, I think the most I had was four drinks one night, yeah. it was just, yeah, yeah I'm quite happy, and, enjoy it. and yeah. yeah, and that's the thing, I think when, when I'm on holiday, like when we went to Bali, I'm in bed by 10.30, because you're up at 6.30 the next morning, mm, you're doing stuff, yeah, you're doing mm. stuff, when, and you have to pace yourself, if it's a week, or it's two weeks, and, and you just can't, you know, if you, go, if you go away for a weekend, you, you can push it hard and get four hours sleep, but... Not, not anymore. No, true. Not anymore. <laughs> no, true. It's not until the next day. It's not until the next day. No. Or the day after. Or the day after that. Weeks, <laughs> That's right. the, the last couple of times I've gone out to drink, drink, and absolutely got hammered, it literally took me till Wednesday. Yep. Like, we went out... Oh, how was it? Thursday night, it must have been Wednesday night for our work do when I left Public Trust because I got made redundant. Oh, yeah, PT. Yeah, I was there for oh. 15 years. I work for trustees executives, so we look after your education trust and your... Well, you must know some of the... So I know um, this, you probably really like her, but I find her a quite scary and intimidating Indian lady. Um, oh, I think I know what you're talking about. She's like really short. Mm-hmm. And whenever she rings, ring me, and she, I'm not at a contact point, she used to go, hello, trouble. And I'd be like, I don't know. And I'd go, hello. And then she, she'd just go for about five minutes, and it was almost flirtatious. And I was just, I'd be sitting on the phone going, this is really weird and awkward. And then I'd go, oh, it's you. And then we'd... <laughs> but Anne Gordon Pfeiffer was someone yes. I worked a bit with. Um, yep, and he used to own oh, the pop. Colin Thompson. Yes, Colin. Yeah. He's gone to the he medical. Was champion. Yeah, no, yeah he was such a really nice guy. He was with Public Trust for many years, yes. like 20, 23 I think years. Yeah, Teresa or something. <clears throat> Teresa Gaff? Gaffin? No, that's a different person. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah. Ah. So, do you like the trustees, executor? Uh, it's fine. It's a job. It's a bit busy at the moment. I don't um, live to work. I work so I can pay my bills and my mortgage. But, yeah. Yeah, because quite a few of the old PT people went to there. Yeah. Uh, is it Tyler there? Tyler Ward? Oh, I don't know Tyler Ward. We lost a couple to you guys. Um, a guy called Nick and a guy called Jeremy, both administrators. Oh, Jeremy Lapine. I think so. He's got one or two kids now. He likes to run. No, that's not Jeremy. Um, he lives. This Jeremy lives in Lewis and I think Lower Hutt or something. No, Jeremy is an older man. Oh, no. With a cat and no, a red no. fish. Right. Same like me. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I worked there for 15 years. And that was a big night out. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. And um, that was our last Christmas, so we all drank and I drank wine, which I don't know why, but I think because it was free and it was on the company, so I drank wine. 
I, I didn't even bother going into work the next day. Some people made it to work and then had to go home. Um, my daughter came to pick us up and there was clothing and phones and handbags in the back of the car. <laughs> Just no responsibility whatsoever. <laughs> so, yeah. We dropped Crystal off and literally she <laughs> fell out of her car, out of the car and her husband with a look of thunder. Uns were known to us, which we did not know and had we known, she was a recovering alcoholic. Right, yes. So had we known she was a recovering alcoholic, we wouldn't have engaged her in our tomfoolery of drinking. No, no, this is right. But you were completely unaware, so it was... Yeah, yeah she left yeah. soon after that. Yeah. She left public yeah. trust. We got refused service from like one of the most hoary bars in Lower Hutt. That's saying something, isn't it? That's saying something. That's... That's going back to capturing the days of your youth. That's excellent. <laughs> well, I was well like, done. How? How did we? I don't know. And I was like, oh, I was pretty drunk last night. And Papa goes, Yes, you told me 15,000 times when I came to pick you up. <laughs> 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 what drunk people do. Oh, you've, you've raised her well. She's coming to pick me up. That's oh, excellent. yeah. Good word. It's pretty paying back the signs you've got to pick her up. Yeah. Actually, she's, she's, she's more of a drink. I wonder where this is. I don't know. That it looks like fields or something. It's Google, but because I'm not playing anything on my Google, because I've got the Google Chrome, mm. it's just plugged in, so it's just play, it just shows plugged in pictures. I like that. It's very cool. <laughs> it makes you go, oh, I'd like to go there, find out where it is and think, uh, Norway. No, I'm probably not going to Norway. <laughs> no, not for a long time. Not no. for a long time, no, I don't think, it. unfortunately. That's the uh, thing. Anyone got any plans to go to Australia? No, not yet. I'd like to go. I think it's Sydney's doing the um, the Harry Potter musical. Vaguely talked to uh, my youngest about going to that. That and, would be uh, cool. That would be quite cool. Yeah, who doesn't like Harry Potter? Exactly. It's a Christmas tradition for me and my son to watch Harry Potter. The whole thing or just the first one? Well, it used to be on TV every week on Channel 2. Oh, TV. right, yes. So you used to yep. watch it once a week. And yep. then we would do Lord of the Rings as well afterwards. Oh, I so respect that. That's good. So that's how it's me and my son's thing, Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Right. We used to read Love Actually every Christmas Eve. Yeah, um, me and my daughter. Which is, but I didn't do it last year. No. I think everyone was a bit too... All over the place. Humble, yeah. Maybe, just kind of, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, Love Actually is a really cool... Did you watch the little one that came out? Yes. And it's so hard to find it on YouTube. I didn't watch it. I don't know. I don't know why. I think probably because it didn't have the guy in it. Which one? The one that died. Um, Who died? He wasn't the one in the car accident, was he? No, the one, the one that gave the necklace. The one of Harry Potter. Oh, right. Yes, Alan Rickman. That's it. Yes. I couldn't think of his name. No, right. Yes, he died. Yes, you're quite right. Yep. yep. It was such a sad um, storyline, that arc. He was cheating on his wife. Well, almost cheating on his wife. I know. It's really, really, really harsh. It was really sad, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Very reactive, though. It was. Yeah. Um, what's her name? Um, I'm just having a blank today. Yes, I know who you mean. It's not the lady from the um, Harry Potter. She is in Harry Potter. She's. Um, She's the Emma teacher for divinization yeah. um, for with the big glasses or something. Oh. Uh, but her real name is I can't remember. No. It's gone. All the names of it it was mm -hmm. the Prime Minister's sister. Yes. Yep. Hugh Grant's sister. That's right. That's right. You can remember Hugh Grant. Yeah, I can remember Hugh Grant. Mm -hmm. And the barmaid of um Easterners. Yeah, of Easterners, yeah. Yeah. What was her name? <sighs> she was a I don't think I knew. Not Martina? Yeah, Mart uh, Martin? Something McCutcheon. like that. Martine McCutcheon. That's it. That's it. Oh. Excellent. We could join a, qu a quiz. We so could. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. <laughs> kind of need to feed each other in order to get something, but yeah. <laughs> I love doing those quizzes. I'm good at like the entertainment and the music, but anything else? I'm good at random. No, I'm not good at random. I mean, we um, do the, yeah. at work every day, we do the five minute quiz. Oh, yeah. The yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I do enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. Then it gets you, gets you real frustrated. 
not, it's not Helen, but it's not Helen Mirren. What's her name? <sighs> it's gonna, that's going to annoy me. Are you going to Google it? <laughs> that's cheating though, isn't it? But it's not cheating because it's not a quiz. Uh, it is. Well, sometimes you just have to know, don't yes. you? Yes. Well, because otherwise it just, and then you don't know, and then you You're wake never up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you <laughs> don't know. <laughs> Then you have to text all. Yeah. And then everyone, you know, five minutes later, that's it. <laughs> How can you not remember that? Yeah. Um, Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson. So easy. Oh, that's yeah. right. The Joni yeah. Mitchell CDs. Yeah. Did she do Joni Mitchell? Yeah, she puts on um, both ways now, both sides now, when she uh, discovers that he's um, oh. about to cheat. He thought she thought that he was going to give her the necklace, but he gave her the Joni Mitchell CD. And that was oh. quite depressing. What a bad move. Yep, because remember they were going to the um, the play where the yeah. kid was the octopus, yes. the lobster at the Last Supper, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Did you not know there was a lobster at the Last Supper? There's three, Mum. I'm third lobster. Third lobster. <laughs> That's bizarre. <laughs> oh, so like when they do a school play, they try and make everyone have a character. Yeah. So that's why they would have added. It just goes bizarre, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Really badly. <laughs> lobster at the Last Supper. I'm not even sure lobsters are kosher. <laughs> <laughs> at least as a meal. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe they were like food on the dinner table. Could lobster. Have been. Could have been. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> You don't play any internet games, do you? No. I play... Candy Crush. No, I do not play Candy Crush. <laughs> I will smack you. No. <laughs> I do not play Candy Crush. Um, did we have the internet before Bronnie died? Not really, did we? I don't think we really did. No, so I, can't, I can't decide whether Bronnie would be into that or not. I could imagine she'd get into it for a month and then go, I'm not doing that anymore. It's just yeah, awesome. I have games on my phone, but... Um, it's more like solitaire, the old style. Oh. Right. And my daughter, um, she's got a, not PlayStation, what's the other one? Xbox. And she bought Crash Bandicoot. Oh, excellent. That's a great game for people to play together. Yeah. We, yeah. That's what, when the kids were like three and, you know, five or whatever, kids used to love playing Crash Bandicoot. Oh, it's so bad at it. Yeah. It's, video games are not my thing. But it always, you <laughs> always laugh when you fall off or you yeah. get the rings and you and, and every once in a while you'd have done something awesome that yeah. they thought you were being awesome and you were just like, I don't know what I just did there. Yeah. yeah, but I'll take it. Yeah, that's right. I was actually trying to avoid dying, but... <laughs> Your mum's awesome, that's what you just remember the kids. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, there was the other game we used to have, Sing Star. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Loads of fun. It was down in the spare room, away from... Everybody else. Is that karaoke? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That'd be your thing. And it tells you mm. when you're doing well, so it can tell you when your voice is within the range. Right on. Although so you can actually fudge that point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So. But apparently it's making a comeback old sing star. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. Mm. Okay. Right. So well. In that. <laughs> Best to get going, because what is the time? Half three. Oh, my God. The day is gone. The day is gone. And I've done my housework. <sighs> I do it eventually, but look, I just my cat and then my friend comes with her dog and things happen. Yeah, life. That's Pretty right. Much. Exactly. But you say you like you ever said, oh, we don't come to look at your house. I'm like, good because. <laughs> 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 it's mess anyway. Oh, oh it's, it's fine. lovely to it's see you. Fine. Nice to see you too. Don't forget your books. <laughs> Well, it's not staying, right? yeah, it's like, I'm not going to read them, it would be awful. Ah. <laughs> it would be a waste. Absolutely. Quite That's cool. Popular. They're really quite nice pictures, aren't they? Pictures. Yeah. Yeah, they're cool, actually. The engagement party yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Where was the engagement party? It was just at their house. 
but it was just the family one. I think it was your. Yeah, we went. Yeah. I can't remember particularly. I remember going to Brian's Point first, which was. But I think I vaguely remember you being there. But I just, I just remember being there. Bronnie was 21, I was 18 and a half or 19. 18 and a half. And we cut people in there in, in their black <laughs> Iron Maiden t shirts and their tight black jeans. I was like, you're dying. It sounds like it sounds like a bar. <laughs> it does, eh? It does. Uh, Pretty much, it is times, a bar. Good times. And David paid for it on condition that I wasn't there. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. So you didn't go? No. <laughs> but Nana was there. I mean, it was a terrible thing for you to go to because it wasn't the scene that they came from. No. I mean, my mum and dad, my mum went and she left at about 9.30, which, which was really right good. Yeah. 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 But I had one uh, at Kaurori at home. Right. And had all, had railings, I with mean, at the Whittles. And mm. Mm. Yeah. And our family. Yeah, and the whole family. And what, is it, is it Arte, Arte Lua? Yeah. What's he doing now? He's in the US. Oh, wow. He's, so he married an American. For some reason, they decided to get married in Italy, so you meet an American, you go and you work in Dubai, and then you get, then you have your marriage in Italy, which is just, you know, it's not expensive, sure. Um, but that's cool, and they've got a, Porter must be about three, and they've just had Thea, who is like three months old now or something. Just hope they don't want to get, ever get divorced, because friends of mine got married, they like and went to Scotland. And it took them like two and a half years to get. Oh, really? Because of the interwebbed kind of weary law over and there. All that stuff. You have to have a lawyer from here to speak oh, to a lawyer no. from over there. And Murder would be easier, wouldn't it? Pretty much. You'd yeah. probably get away with it. Well, you'd be out sooner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was uh, like, right. it sounds like a great thing, but in oh, reality, no. no. Wow. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, at the moment, they're solid. I'm, well, that's good. I'm trusting that having had kids at. Stephanie would be, she'd be 40 now, I think. And Artie is 37. So they've so, sort of got their life together. Well, you know, you don't get divorced while you've got young kids, and they'll be old before that's finished. So I think... We might as well just stay them. together because we can retire. Pretty much, yeah. You're old, frankly, so am I. No one's going to want either of us and we'll stick together. Still don't like you, but... Yeah. You just stay over there. Yeah. Go back to your own bedroom. Pretty much, yeah. So, yeah, he's doing really well. He's a... Um, He's like high up in an um, uh, American um, insurance company, does the IT audits. And oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Did you ever meet him? Yeah, a couple of times. He would have been at that, um, that 21st. Yeah, it? and um, I think we went yeah. round a couple of times uh, to... He would have been like seven or eight. David's for yeah. dinner or lunch. Did you? Yes. On the main road or over Yes, because it? it was right by... By Plymouth? Yes. There. That's going back a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that because we went wow. there for we went there for lunch one day, me and Bronnie, because we yeah. were going somewhere, and D David said, "Oh, well, why don't you come for lunch first? And mm. Mary was there. Yeah, and Auntie Lua must have been about eight, Little, six, something, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Mm. And then you lived up on a hill somewhere, Kahu Road in Parramatta. Yeah, I remember that going there. Probably, yeah. probably show off at Artie Lua somewhere. So yeah, so I remember that. So that you've never seen Porter, that's Porter. Oh yes. So that's Porter, he looks at the Oh yeah. yeah. At that age. And then Artie and Steph will be... People talk to me now about school holidays, and I'm like, no. What do you mean? I don't even know when they are now. No. Yeah, it doesn't even register. Whereas it used to be something that you either dreaded or hung out till. Yeah. Or we were going away at the school holidays. 
weeks or something. But now, and that's like, oh, is it school holidays? Ah. Or otherwise, you go into the mall or somewhere, or go into Wellington. Like you're like, oh yeah, and you wish you wish you'd realised and go. We'll just go in a fortnight. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing this now. Yeah, I've started going back to school. They're reading. Hey, little kids. Oh, they're reading. (laughs) We did that when I just had Mav, but um, once was I used to do the reading class reading and then take them off one by one so he was we were quite young I think he was only about two months old but we did it until he was about nine months and then he started to move around the classroom and yeah, distract and then take down whole walls of books and so we decided we weren't ever going back <laughs> but you enjoying it yeah I love it little kids five year old yeah. they say the darndest things don't they yeah <laughs> so cute. So yeah one of them said you're a girl or a boy <laughs> And I said, I'm a girl, but you haven't got long hair. Girls have long hair. You should have said, like, you in the day. And then my name is Jane. <laughs> my, my youngest is from Mumbai, so getting used to the whole day in bed. Yeah, it is hard. We were trying to figure out the day today, like the other day. I could only figure out nine out of all. Apparently there's, like, so many... A different permutations of... Whatever. Yeah. What, like getting transgender. Yeah. Cis. Asexual, bisexual, this, all this. Asexual. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Cis is um, we like the, se- the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. Cis is the opposite sex. No, not normal. Boring and conventional people. Yeah. Is that what I am? I don't know. I just, I'm not <laughs> judging for you. <laughs> 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 I've only just met you again in 20 years. <laughs> Well, that but must be our and boring and conventional. We'll, we'll go with yes. <laughs> yeah, but sure. there's all these ones and I'm just like, I sorry, I don't understand. Like, you have to explain to me a little bit more what it is. Yeah, like, contextualise this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're this sexual, what does that mean? And it's sort of like, because my, um, my niece's two girls, they were lesbian and then they were bisexual and now they're something else. Okay. I feel like, is it an evolving thing? Yeah, it sounds like a progression, doesn't it? Pansexual. Well, could be pansexual. pansexual. I don't know what that I'm is. Fine, <laughs> <laughs> I think asexual is where you don't um, identify as a male okay. or a female. I, and it's also, I think, where you don't have a... I think you're kind of going, yeah, I'm not feeling up to it. So yeah. you're saying, I don't have a sex drive. So <laughs> yes. I'm not actually... Um, yeah. I'm not on the market, so don't be not disappointed. Not bothering. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If I rebuke you and say I prefer a cup of tea, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> I think that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't so he's got to bend people these days. Gender studies, and I think that's what... They're studying it at, at university. Oh, it's going to have to be mandatory at school or oh. primary school. Well, you're going to have to explain it because a lot of these kids don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, I think my kids' I generation is saying too. Um, like, just take it as fact. Like, you know, just yeah. they've grown up with it. Yeah, but it is. But for likes of me, no, I don't no, understand. Well, uh, some people think it's a load of rubbish. <laughs> they become a person that think it's a load of rubbish. Well, I, don't, I, I think, think it's, it's a bit load of rubbish. I think it's fun. Up. I, it's I, just I it, all of a sudden it's come here and I don't know where it's come from, do you know mm, what I mean? Mm. So there's lesbians and homosexuals and, and yeah, bisexuals. Just used to that, weren't you? Yeah. Oh God. And then all of a sudden, and it's not just one or two things, it's like it's 56. <laughs> and it's like, can we, just, can we just do, you know, five at a time? It's like a slug. <laughs> and you can move through them. So before, when I went to school, there were a couple of kids and you're like, yeah, yeah, so and so's gay. Answer. We all know that. Yeah. And yep, that one's not. That person is gay, and they're also presenting in a. a so you know, it's um whatever. That's cool. But they they kind of were quite consistent. Whereas it, when my kids were at college, there was a a girl who decided she was a boy. Who then decided no, that wasn't her. She would be a girl. And like moving through this gender choices, and you're like, I don't want to kind of go too far down the gender choice and then go. No, no, I got that wrong. Can we put them back? No. What? You mean no? <laughs> Well, there's some things you can't put back. No, Once right. it's gone, it's gone. I mean, you wouldn't know how annoying it is having things wobbling around down there until you've got them, and then you go, this doesn't make running any easier, does it? It does, but, yeah. I think I'm still just trying to figure yeah. everything out. It's still, you know, 
Maybe I just need to, to Google it a bit more. <laughs> There's probably a, a week <laughs> retreat you can go but on. But then, like, if I Google that stuff, will I be horrified? <laughs> will I go to the wrong be site? Be very careful <laughs> what, what kind of <laughs> questions are asked. That's right. My I, I go with text. Don't, don't go. I need a video on. <laughs> no, I think, I think, yeah. But yeah. Hope not giving them I think ideas. it's time we went home. Right. <laughs> Conversations. Um, okay. Well, it's well, nice uh, to see you. Just think what it might be like in 20 years. It might be worse. Check that photo out. The one with the collie. Yeah, I that saw that. We had a dog Sounds just like that when we were growing up. Oh, it's King. Is it, is it your, when you were kids? Is it your it's, kids? No, it's my brother. It's my brother, Tony, yeah. my sister, Anna, and my sister, Raywin. I wasn't even born then. Wow. And we had a King, Ricky, and Mandy. So we had a big one, a medium. And a little one. Yeah. See, that could be our dog. That's Beautiful. Yeah. That's lovely. Actually, ironically, our one was called Prince. Prince. Who's the girl up on the left? Hmm? That's, That's Piper. Oh, and that's Mary. Oh, look. Oh, no. oh, really? Is Piper still in the Wellington area? Or? Yeah, she's just in her bedroom. Oh. oh. Very close. Oh, <laughs> so she's quite near. Yeah, she's quite near. <laughs> that was me as a baby. Oh, these are the only two pictures I have of me because oh, my sister took them. Oh, oh. Took all my sister. It was just weird. <laughs> I don't know why she'd want pictures say, of me. But say hello to Piper. I will. Are your siblings still alive? Um, so Tony and Ray Winard, Donna died two years ago. Nearly, oh, nearly three. Oh, she was very sick. So, <clears throat> was it cancer? No, she had um, emphysema, really bad. Oh, oh, um, this is really bad lung disease, and then she got pneumonia. Oh. And oh. then when she came out of hospital, she wasn't quite right. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So, yeah. have they got kids? Yeah. So my brother has. Well, he's four kids, but. Two of the kids are the oldest. They're not actually from him, but he, they're from his ex-wife's first marriage. Yes. And then my sister Donna had four kids. She had five, but one died. Mm. And then Raywin's got five boys, and she had a girl, but that girl died. Oh, really? So oh. when Piper was born, I was always going in and poking her and making sure she was still alive. <laughs> she never got this little genie. <laughs> Wait, are you? Oh, good. Um, well, that's a panic for first-time parents. It is. I think it's oh their first-time parents. We, we all do it. The yeah, first time Melissa slept through the night, George, you woke bolt upright in the morning and went, <laughs> Oh my God, she hasn't cried in the night. And I went, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> she's either fine and sleeping, or if she's dead, it's probably been a while. We <laughs> might as well go back to sleep. Okay, father of the year now. <laughs> 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 nice to uh, see you guys. Good to be seen. See ya. See ya. See ya. Didn't they meet at work? I think they just sort of met 